Welcome to the Build Guild Podcast, a professionally unprofessional podcast for makers. I am your guest host, Peter Romano, here with the usual. <laughs> We're all here. Usual <laughs> suspects. That's right. So Peter is from... Delaware. Delaware. Yep. But he's we're all living in the same city right now. That's right. Cersei, Arkansas. That's yeah. right. And we're having Peter on because he's a maker of things. He has been a maker. Of many different many things. Many different things. Redoing yeah. your house. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself. All right. Uh, so, grew up in Delaware for the first, really, I guess, 18 years of my life. Went to college here in Cersei, Arkansas. Married a girl, lived in Colorado for two years, moved back to Delaware for 10 more years, and then we made it back here. So the little stint in Delaware, we have a family business, um, masonry, and uh, yeah, just kind of ran the family business for 10 years before moving back here. And what do you do now? Now I am in education. I am a teacher. I am almost a counselor, Woo! hopefully next year, mm-hmm. and I am a volunteer firefighter, mm. and I'm building my house. <laughs> yes. So you've got lots of free time. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, do you do anything, Pete? Come on. <laughs> no. Nothing else. <laughs> that is my time. And you, when you say you ran masonry back home, this was your dad's company your dad yeah. started it yeah he yep. started it in 76 whoa and um what kind of masonry are we talking about like what is so it was mainly commercial masonry so big high rises brick block that kind of thing and uh, my brother and i and my dad kind of ran it <clears throat> i was more or less uh, an hr person for a while and then we started uh a residential division which was custom carved concrete so kind that of, was what's that what was the brand name of that called uh stonemakers stonemakers yeah i've seen some pictures of that yeah and it was awesome yep where you basically take concrete and you make it look like a bunch of stones yeah so pretty much anything that you see like uh at a zoo where mm-hmm. like lions are on these huge rocks or mm. monkeys are climbing up the trees inside mm-hmm. that's all concrete and epoxy and cool. you were working in a zoo no, 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 no. I wish. <laughs> okay. No, we brought it. We that whole market is like a commercial market, and we got in touch with uh, Stonemakers, which was like this uh, company that sells uh, and teaches and trains people, and they're bringing it to the residential market. This is like a franchise. Of yeah, kind of like a of? franchise, and uh, so they just taught us how to make like water features retaining walls uh and then i incorporated that into uh like decorative walls inside with hidden drawers and all that kind of stuff that's awesome it's pretty awesome yep what what is it like to work for your father um what's that like how does the family business of like okay son come do this because you didn't graduate and go right back. No. You didn't want to work for him. No. You, did you do that? Did you like help him out as a kid? And then it was oh, always yeah. like he's going to take over the business. Or yeah. Well, brothers. I don't know about he was. He never forced us or you know even mentioned to take over the business. Huh. But my brother's five years older than me, and uh, so he graduated with his uh, business degree and went and uh, started taking over the business or helping out the business. And then when I graduated, yeah, I had no desire. I wanted to become a teacher. And then after I graduated from that, after student teaching, I was like, er, yeah. nope. Yep. <laughs> student teaching did yeah, the trick. Yeah, <laughs> So, um, and then being the Italian came out and my dad, and he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. In a white suit. <laughs> yes. So, no, working with him, it, it was really no problems um he's super conservative so always uh one reason why we were even in business still is just because he always you know kept cash at hand and uh was really conservative developed relationships with uh the clients and uh they know that he's trustworthy so it was really easy all the groundwork and foundation was set up Mm -hmm. how many people were employed by at our at our biggest it was like 60 
That's a lot. lot. 60 employees? Yeah, 60 employees. And then we had some subcontractors. And then we sized down to like 40 and hired more subcontractors. Mm. Yeah. What's the benefit of that? You're not liable. So when we do the subcontractors, it's guaranteed profit. Mm. Because we get paid the same amount and we Because you just offer them a blanket. This is how much we're going to pay you. And you guys figure it out. Yep. We say so many, uh, like a dollar 10 or something like that per block or whatever it is. Four dollars. I can't remember. All right. So here's my question for subcontractors. Yeah. And you may get into this too, Cody. I don't know. All right. But does, do you feel like that takes away from the, we are, you know, like we are Romano masonry. Is it really you if you're, you are not doing the work? You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. how much can you subcontract out and still call yourself, this is my product? Yeah, so uh, what we did is the subcontractors, I would say, uh, being from my side, a family member and a business owner, was I believe they liked to work for us because it was guaranteed work. Yeah. Um, whereas, as you guys know, when you start your business, you have no idea where your next job's coming from. Yeah. Yep. And we stayed busy enough to where they were always working. So they were doing really no other jobs except working for us. So it was almost okay. like they were on our own yeah, employees. Yeah. So being the business, you did all the groundwork. It's your name, your marketing. They're just kind of doing the work. It's basically if you were to hire employees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, and you still have your name behind it. Yep. You know what I mean? You just don't have to pay for the insurance. Do you, yes, do you yeah, have exactly. any idea how difficult it was to start that in when did you say 76? 76 yeah like how was that for him in delaware starting a masonry business was he just side hustling yeah how did that as like oh, i'm gonna lay Man. some concrete or what no he uh went to oklahoma christian and uh got his business degree there oh. and he already had a background in masonry because my grandfather um was a mason as well that's the italian there's always yeah. stone masons or somebody in the family if but your grandfather didn't have a business. He no, was just he, doing the thing. Yeah, I believe he... I think he was partners with somebody. I think that's how it went down. Hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I guess <clears throat> I never actually asked. Was, I think he just started... Him and my mom decided to start it up. And um, Your mom I remember, was fully invested in the, the company? Yeah, She's an yeah, employee 100% she too? She did the <clears throat> payroll... Uh, I don't even think she was an employee. She just did the work. She just did it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So. That's what um, I tried to do. Yeah. Did your wife do a bunch of stuff for you? What? No. <laughs> right now, well, she has a lot of opinions, <laughs> and she does a lot of stuff. <laughs> My wife says, "Don't even tell me about it. I don't. Whatever is in the shop, no, I don't, I don't even want to know about." Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. My wife is, is heavily involved. She was like, honestly, I've had her do the social media stuff yeah. as of late because, again, it goes back into what we've talked about. I'm an idiot. Don't take pictures. <laughs> yeah. So if I take a picture, then Dummy, like, take a picture. Then I stare at it wondering what I'm going to say. So I just send it to her and then she'll post it. Nice. So oh, nice. What, is, what does Michael feel about your uh, artwork? Well, she likes some of it. She's got opinions about some of it. Some of it just annoys her. Is some of, <laughs> when you say she's got opinions about some of it, is uh-huh. this the geeky versus non-geeky thing? Like, how does she feel about the, like, like I mean, uh, she, Star she, Trek ships and what? Yeah, I mean, she's made her piece, and I'm a complete nerd. Yeah. And, yeah, and that'll always be that way. She, I mean, that's not her interest, but she's full of good ideas when it comes to wall decor and hand-painted signs and stuff like that. And I've made her several that are in her house. So, she's very supportive about everything I do, but she's... Really on her game, yeah. <laughs> what? As long as it's for her. Uh, yeah, well, no, for everybody, but especially when I make her something that she wants, and I'm usually pretty late about it, but she puts late, up with yes. that, too. Yeah. Excellent. I'm, I'm late about everything. <laughs> what, uh, so going back to your dad. Yeah. You're not there anymore. No. What, what's the... So what happened? What happened? Yeah. I guess. Uh, everything's going good. Yeah, everything was going good. I mean, the business is still running now. Um... So pretty much, uh, I was sitting on the couch reading my Bible, and I just felt like God was telling us that it's time to move huh. for family reasons. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what that was, and um, and then uh, we pretty much got it confirmed. We went to church and we went up to somebody, and he just came to us and he was like, 
you guys are moving, aren't you? I was like, uh, we haven't told anybody that we were thinking about it. And for us, that just confirmed it. Yeah. And uh, we went down that route. And something that I knew I wanted to be a teacher when I was roughly like 16 or 17. And then after uh, college, I actually got accepted into the counseling program for like school counseling. Uh, and then I just decided I was burned out in college. So uh, Lisa and I, we looked for like uh, different positions down here, like an HR and like all the doors were shut. And so we were like, well, I have this degree. I might as well maybe teach and then get accepted into, uh, you know, the grad program for school counseling. Hmm. And that's kind of what happened. It was kind of a leap of faith. We had no place to live. Yeah. We lived with my brother-in-law for a little bit. And then we lived in a travel trailer and bought a family house that was built by my wife's great-grandfather. Whoa. Wow. And, in what year? Uh, in 46, I believe it was. That's where you live now? Mm-hmm. 1946. Wow. This is part of his maker journey. Yeah. Because you <clears throat> gutted the whole thing? Yeah, the entire thing. So we, the only thing that we kept so far is the, the exterior walls and the roof. So, so, so you're still working on this house. Yeah. It's my a, wife it's a constant. My wife went to school for interior design, so oh. Oh. It, it she always has something. So it's but we're happened. living in the house. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but uh this last summer I put on an addition for a third bedroom and finished the master bathroom and we still are wanting to enclose the carport and put on a garage and reside the house. Nice. All right. Molly does not want me to touch our house at all. I don't know if she has like it. She it worries her. She's like, let's pay someone to do something. I'm like, no, I can do whatever. Yeah. And she's like, no, don't. I don't want to be around. Like when I redid the kitchen sink. Yeah. She was gone for Didn't the day, like that. and I just yeah. did it by myself. I had you did to. it all in one day. Just the sink. Well, just like install the, the whole the backsplash drop, and farmhouse everything. Sinks. No, I, we paid someone to do the backsplash. Oh, you did? Yeah, I okay. never did. I ripped it all out and gutted right. it. Okay, yeah, yeah. But we paid someone to do the backsplash and paid someone to do the granite okay. and, and painting. So basically everything except for the sink I cut in <clears throat> into the cabinets. But it's not like... Sh- My wife's like, we're done. Don't touch anything. <laughs> whatever. How do you get from... You, you have no training of sheetrock and framing and yeah. all this stuff. Do you just like pick up the framer and go or watch YouTube or what? I don't know. I mean, I just... Are you just built in <laughs> with like this, I can do that and I just do it? No, no I mean, I see who's out on construction sites. If they can do it, I can do it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So, YouTube and then really... Not doing drugs. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it took. That's, That's all it. it took. That's all it took. No, really, uh, my wife grew up in a family where, you know, her dad pretty much did everything. And uh, she pushed me a little bit, you know. I did YouTube and uh, watched YouTube and, yeah, I just figured it out. And I have, like, my... Italian confidence, too. Yeah, I have friends that, you know, know what they're doing. And I just double-check. My friends know what they're doing. (laughs) Find the people that know what they're doing and say, yo... Help me out. But, I mean, when I moved down here, nobody knew I, I was down here for that first yeah, year. I didn't know you were down Because here I had no time. At all. Because I was... I didn't know you were coming. You were no, just gone forever after gone. college. Because yeah. we went to college together. <laughs> yep. And we kind of knew each other before then. Because we were from the same area. Yeah. I, don't know, I want to hear that story. So we talked about this earlier. Because he's like, I've known Pete since we were kids. And I'm like, how? <clears throat> Not like super in, kids. It like, was, uh, it was teenagers. Teenagers. College kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Pete's from Delaware, I'm from Pennsylvania, and we're all uh, Church Christ, really, mm-hmm. our, our religion, and in the Northeast, unlike where we are right now, that is very sparse. Yeah. Catholic, for me, is like, uh, everyone was Catholic, mm-hmm. and so we would, like, each, churches would get together, but you would drive two hours to do whatever, and then there was a camp, and... That's how we knew mm-hmm. a lot of the people from your camp, your church went to that camp, and I yep. knew them. And then you never came except I once, came maybe. when I was younger, but then I had baseball. I was always in baseball. Yeah. Anyways, it was some something yeah, baseball like that. Over that's Jesus. How we, Got it. Got it. <laughs> that's how we knew each other, yep. and we knew of each other and stuff. That's still pretty cool that you guys yeah. cross paths then. In... And we went to started college at the exact same time. Yep. And then 
he left. He got married and left. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drop off randomly face in here. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's it. That's what happens. There's a season in life for people. I, I have the guilt of like I I remember these people back in the day. Yeah. And I feel like I really need to be connected with everyone I've ever met and always been friend with. Yeah. Like I carry that guilt of seasons, and I've I've. I've turned tended to learn like there's a season for people to come. That's true. And we're like as soon as you came back and we it was like yeah, it was yeah. like time didn't yeah. even exist and it didn't matter and that's so it's getting over that time. Yeah. But I'm very glad you came back. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little love there. <laughs> so yep. now, so what do you teach? Because I don't think we said I that. Teach history. So okay. In high school. Whoa. And. um yeah. Funniest it, story from teaching. Be careful. Um, that you're allowed to share. Public education. No. <laughs> no Let me. Games. We'll come back to that. We'll come okay. back I have to, to that. think, think about it and we'll filter end it. With so many story. options. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Brian, you also, because Brian's a teacher too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You both think of funniest story for. Okay. Uh, for okay. the end. Okay. For the end. All right. I will Speaking work on Speaking of a funny story, though. I have heard that there is a date coming up for Brian that is a funny story. May 4th. Mm. Mm-hmm. What is the significance so of what is, May 4th? So what is May 4th? And and tell me more about this. <laughs> about this story. Tell that me more. I, I may, that I may already have heard some of, but I uh, want to know more. Of. Well, uh, You didn't hear all the details about I, it. I did not know. Not everybody knows everything. Well, I, I met my wife in... Um, January of 2009, I believe. So, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. January 2009. And recruited her for the for the <laughs> summer camp I was working for at the time, full time. Yeah. Yeah. And I stole her from another summer camp, That's by the awesome. way. Yeah. I was a good recruiter. Um, and she was, I thought he was she about to was say, I recruited my wife. And I did recruit my <laughs> wife. Because, anyway. Um, <clears throat> She's from Russia. <laughs> no, she's she not a, a Soviet <laughs> agent, although, point of interest, my wife has read so many crime novels and watched so many cop dramas, she can figure out any mystery story mm. before she's halfway through. Yep. It is freaky. Like, she would make an excellent master spy. Anyway, so I met her in 2009. And, you know, she and I and a hundred other people work at some at, at summer camp all year. And then we started dating at the end of that and um, got engaged in January of 10. And then um, she she basically just wanted to disappear. She wanted to elope and, and go far, far away. And I, and this was really out of character for me, I was like, you know, the voice of reason, which is... <laughs> What is that? <laughs> um, and said that our mothers would probably hunt us down to the far ends of the earth if we did that. So we decided on kind of a, a, a what's the word I'm looking a win? for? No, a compromise. Oh, I teach art. <laughs> um, <laughs> and decided we would get married in secret and then have a ceremony a few days later. So that's what we did. Well, we. Uh, announced the wedding ceremony that everyone was invited to for the 10th or maybe it was the 9th I don't really remember because it's not my actual wedding date my <laughs> actual wedding date when I got married in secret on the edge of a tall cliff overlooking the Little Red River was May the 4th only afterward did I realize that May the 4th is Star Wars Day May the 4th be with you <laughs> you're, you're kidding me no Dad. I did not I was so uh, I wasn't focused all on this woman that I was really in love with. No way. Yes, I did not realize. I it. was for sure that the only reason you I did not do it on purpose. I would have put money on that. I, I did not do it on purpose. Every time. No, no, you can ask her. No, did not do it on purpose. But you know, and we Fate didn't realize happen. that for like a couple of years because we. No, were, what? I'm serious. Also, yeah. since I'm family, yeah. your family didn't know you secretly got married. No, we until kept like that a secret three years for at least later. Like three years later, I heard yeah. that. Yeah, and, yeah. and like, then we're oh, like, oh, oh, by the way. You're joking, right? We got married before that, yeah. Y'all yeah. came to a fake ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, if you Joke's came, on you, loser. If you came two minutes late to that ceremony, you were not. it was over. Uh, we timed it. It, it was like It was two seven minutes. minutes and 30 seconds long. It was short. Yes. It wow. was very short. Well, it didn't need to. I mean, it was fake. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it also happened to be on Mother's Day. The Mother's Day, yeah. the, the, ceremony. the ceremony. The ceremony. I'm sorry, the fake ceremony that everyone came to ceremony. was on Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. Got it. Excellent. So, 
fantastic. Yeah. Star Lessons Wars learned? Day for real. Regrets? <laughs> Lessons learned? Um, no, not really. Nothing. No, I'll do it all again. Yeah. And your ki- daughters yeah. say, uh, you know, I'm, I'll probably hunt the guy down if that happens. <laughs> oh, but, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little double standard there. I did. Right. No, I. Well, no, I went to her dad <laughs> and I asked for permission at least. Oh. So I guess as long as they come to me and you know I threaten them, then we'll be okay. Did he threaten you? No, no, he's a great guy. Yeah, he's very peaceful and we both serene. had to ask the same guy. Yeah. Mm. Did he threaten you? Yeah. No. Okay. What about to say? Does he like Ben more? He opened me. <laughs> He came to me with open arms, yeah. crying and weeping in joy. Yeah, I, don't think he did. I don't think it was quite like that. No. no. It was more like, all right. No. All right, yeah. <laughs> that is not yeah. my experience. <laughs> really? For well, real. What was your experience? So we're in Colorado, and her dad uh, asked for me to get in the car <laughs> to go for oh. a drive. Oh. No. Was I he go, Italian also? <laughs> no. So I go, sure. And for some reason, I had I thought this was the best opportunity to ask. And so I go, is it okay if I marry your daughter? And he goes, well, you got to live with her. That was it. That was it? That was it. That's all he said. So about 10 minutes later, I look over at him and I go, so is that a yes? <laughs> he goes, yeah, that's a yes. What? I'm like... Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what, the, what does that mean? Uh, like, I don't know. I'm uh, assuming negatively. He knew that's something. How he, meant it. I, he knew something. You know. <laughs> yeah, so. you know, you know. What does that mean? <laughs> I would have been asking questions. <laughs> Could you elaborate, well, wait, please? Wait a what do you mean by that? <clears throat> Cody, did you ask your wives? That yeah. Um, did you say father? wives? Wife. Wife's. Oh. Wife's. Wife's yeah, they're a Mormon. All of them. Yeah. I know you're a minister. Of them. Sister wives. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Uh, I, yeah, I did. But it was funny because her parents kind of already thought we were going to. They just assumed get, They it. just assumed yeah. we were. Yeah. Mm. They are like, her mom. We hadn't even been dating that long. And it was like May 11th, which is my birthday. And so her mom and her family threw me a birthday party. I was like, oh, this is cool. And then her mom was like, yeah, you guys are probably going to end up getting married. <laughs> you need that. All right. I was like, you well, I, mean, I still did. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> still. You're That's how pretty. many years into it now? Is we are in two, three. Yeah. Three? Yeah. Three years in. Okay. Brian? Uh, we are coming up on ninth year. Nine. Yeah. Pete? This is my 15th year. Wow. Coming still up Still blows on. my mind. 15. It's really cool. And you're what, 12, right? You're 12. It'll 12? be 12 in a few days. Wow. Yeah. I don't feel that old. I mean, uh, yeah. You don't look that old. No, look. Okay, wait. <laughs> wait you I have see less it. My hair shows. I see me now. Age, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So, Pete, what would you say... Oh, Pete's no. fire thing is on oh, fire. No. The, is that for you? No. The, the f- it could be. Hold on, Pete's gonna so go get Pete's his firefighting to... radio. Get his firefighting thing on. It'd be like, hey, someone's house is on fire. There's an unresponsive male on the roof. Come help. That'd make good for the podcast. That would be amazing. <laughs> Can we he's, film a fire? He's listening yeah. to this. Is it? Weird is something in here interfering? Is the Wi-Fi like messing with it or something? So how many calls? So as a volunteer fire, how many calls do you usually go on per week? Uh, it varies. So, actually, this past eight days was some of the most emotional ones that I've ever been a part of. Oh, was that? Yeah. another thing. Yeah. Craziest fire call. So there's two crazy. Mm. Questions well, I'll for just it. tell them right now. Let's yeah. 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 These are medical calls. So, well, uh, let's see. About seven, eight days ago. We got called out for an accident where uh, there was entrapment, so we had to like use the jaws of life. Oh, the jaws of life! Tell us about yeah. the jaws of life. Well, now we're we're a volunteer fire department, and uh, so instead of using like the hydraulic jaws <clears throat> of life, uh, we actually have a Dewalt battery operated. No way. Jaws of life. Like, like a twenty volt thing. 
awesome. So DeWalt, 60, DeWalt, 60 DeWalt volt makes yeah, yeah. holy smokes, it's jaws freaking of life. That is awesome. awesome. So, so Pete, they just they just DeWalt just does the batteries, oh, and then this okay. other company does the okay. jaws of okay. life. Well, of course, you, you DeWalt batteries are. We'll awesome. post a picture of this thing Jeez. if you can get us a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll post that on the Build Guild Podcast yeah. Instagram page. Absolutely. The, at the Build Guild Podcast. So yeah. take yeah. a look when this goes up, or at some point. I don't know. You can take a picture of it. But that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So, uh, so we got that call. There was an entrapment, and uh, so uh, some of my other firefighter guys, they're there. They're with the entrapped vehicle, uh, and as soon as I get there, I get the medical bag, and they point me over to a lady that was ejected from the vehicle, Ooh. and uh, no. she was like two hundred and fifty feet away from the vehicle. So, um, surprisingly, she was coherent. Now, not everything she said was, you know, on point with the Two, questions that we were asking. 250 feet away? Yeah. She went out like, there. So, like a football she field out. away from the car? Well, she was, yeah, she was over here, but the car kept on rolling. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, okay. So, surprisingly, she didn't have a lot of cuts or anything, but her hand was going in the wrong direction. Ooh. And, mm. um, ah. so... <clears throat> apparently one of the other people the people that were in the car one was a kid in a car seat and then uh the mom they were okay but they were still kind of out of it because one of them was like where's my other kid so we were well some of the other firefighters were and medical personnel were um scouring like the ditches looking for this five-year-old kid oh, man. but surprisingly they just didn't remember they had the kid was not in the car mm. so like a cop went to the house and the kid was there yeah. so uh but that was my first time actually loading up somebody onto uh the flight for life helicopter Ooh, yeah which i mean besides all of the bad that was really cool yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll skip <laughs> the really bad cool. part i didn't realize did just they, how did, small helicopters were did the helicopter just land like right on the road no it was in, in someone's backyard Oh, they land. Yep. They so just... we have to get an LZ zone and yeah. direct Put out, them like, down. Flares or something for it to land. Actually, we just had flashlights and uh, they had a was big old spot. Yeah, it was at night. Okay. Most yeah. things. Down you guys had the little, little green laser thing. You just like mark it. No, oh, wow, that, that would be like... pretty awesome though. <laughs> like the army. <clears throat> yeah, we just mark it like a bazooka. Yeah. Yeah. LZ is painted. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yep. yep. And oh. then, uh, so yeah, that was my first there, and then my. <clears throat> The first time I went on a code call was not not yesterday morning, the morning before. And it was just for someone that was struggling breathing. And so I get there, and it was an older lady, and uh, I was the only one that responded. It was 4.30 in the morning. Oh, wow. And uh, so I go, and the family's crying, and they said I need to get in there quick. So I get all the gear, the AED and everything. And she's I don't, there's no pulse, she's not breathing, so I'm doing chest compressions with which is disgusting mm. by the way most what, because you're cracking ribs and cracking ribs oh, yeah so i get her to take a breath and then she was out after that mm. so so that was so she, she never make. came back no she, uh. she she was gone so the only thing that i guess like all of the emotions that you know that go with that seeing someone take their last breath and, you know that kind of thing and being if, around the family so exactly that. yeah so the good thing was i mean i wish they showed me earlier but she had a dnr which is a mm. not uh, resuscitate oh, oh. yeah so i wish handy information yeah i wish i would have yeah. known before but okay yeah. but yeah so those were the craziest recently Oof. wow, wow. Oh, hey, well, keep thank doing you that. for what you do for yeah. yeah thanks for, for being the guy that, so it's amazing yep. all right now you had time to think about it. Yeah. Tell us about the teacher story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the PG Be careful. version. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, <clears throat> so. Like what I, happens at school? <laughs> what do you guys have the school I work schools. at is uh, closer to Little Rock. And it is a different culture than out here in the country. Uh-huh. And. Uh, the girl fights are insane and some girls are bigger than others <laughs> and True. i have seen okay. a big assistant principal 
get taken down by some of these girls. Mm. Oh my gosh. Where the first fight that I broke up, I didn't know what to do. In school, you're not you're taught not to touch, mm. you know. Yeah. But once they're once the assistant principals and the security guards is like grab them, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you literally they don't stop. Oh, so no. you have to hold them and then either get them on the floor or up against the wall like we're cops or something. Mm. And they will keep talking. It doesn't matter who you are. It's not like a super crazy story, but yeah, I mean, that's what I can say. Mm. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be one to swing at them. You gotta have <laughs> a lot gotta make, of patience. Like you're at, I feel like teaching now is like 20% teaching, 80% being a parent. Uh, so everybody has their own like educational philosophy, you yeah. know, and uh, mine revolves around relationships. So yeah. some of the stuff that I do to get to know the students is like I brought in my firefighting gear and the air packs and everything. I got let them put it on, breathe the air, all that kind of stuff. And usually... That usually gets them. Yeah, to wear. that's super cool though. Yeah, I saw the picture of you wearing it in there, yeah. and it was cool. Pete has an Instagram. What's your Instagram? I have no. Did clue. you share? It? I think it's, <laughs> it's a, at P A Romano. Yeah, I, have no idea. Idea. I think you should. Did you share it on there? <clears throat> the picture of the kit, the picture uh, you dressed up, possibly. But he'll look it up. I don't even know how to. Brian, look do you it have up. a crazy story? Um, it's not as crazy because you don't teach in the inner city like Pete does. Well, I started in a. Oh, you that did. Was very That's similar right. to that. That's it. Yeah. But and there, I mean, I'm really blank in here because there's there's so many days in fifth and sixth grade where I go home and I have been crying. I laughed so hard, and I really I can't think. It's mostly just stuff that comes out of a twelve year old kid's mouth. Yeah. Especially the boys, and right. like they'll just say it with a straight face and think they're everything is normal and what they've just said is like it's just you know universe altering insane or stupid and they they think it's just totally normal so um but i totally can't think of any of that right now so and then he started talking about a fight so i thought about <laughs> i thought about the time when i was teaching high school and um it's it's it was a really interesting place because it was not unlike that culture that you have been in for a while but it's also mixed in with the kind of place here in arkansas where half the school disappears during duck season yes and <laughs> everyone's true. pretty much got a yeah. rifle National in their holiday. truck yeah and everyone's cool with that yeah and we're all packing around our pocket knives every day of the week and yep. nothing ever happens because we're out in the country um but anyway you know every now and then people do go crossways on each other and one time it was like not outside my door but outside the windows of my classroom two two guys not women or i <laughs> might have reacted much differently just started swinging at each other and you know shirts were off and backpacks are on the ground and everyone's like oh, yeah get in fight fight it's like what is this junior high so i, I yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not far removed um so i just climbed out the window and and uh got right between them and amazingly, I did not get hit. Hmm. And amazingly, after that, they they at least would not do that in close proximity to me because I came out the window to stop it. And for some reason, that held a lot of weight with them. I like think they had also, never seen a teacher go out, out a yeah, window and get crazy. involved. Yeah. You're also but, a male, and I feel like well, I guess that might have had something to do with it. Yeah. And that might be... I wasn't the only one at that school. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but there's... I mean, the ratio is, what, like 5%? It, uh, nationally, 10? hey, I just read it today. 77% of the United States public school system is teachers, certified teachers, are women. That's what I thought. The other 23% <laughs> <I can't, laughs> are men. Not, not, I'm the art teacher. <laughs> uh, not the math teacher. But yeah. I'm right next door to the math teacher. Yeah. <clears throat> you so. bust out the window like the Kool-Aid man and... Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly how That's it went. Right. Like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Whoa! You're gonna give us some free <laughs> cool in the gym. Stop the fight." I want to. I want to mention right now. Brian is drawing on his iPad Pro. Yes, I am. What are you drawing right I'm now? I'm drawing a little uh, micro version of Pete. Because that's what we do around here for people who get on the build guild. So, because our little logo has. Uh, 
The caricatures of all of right. us. Right, they're a little caricature, caricature, caricature. mini me's. Yes, I, that's how I say it. So yeah. Quit trying to mess me up with your northern slang. People have asked who did our logo. <sighs> oh, have It is Brian. It was me. At Fiery Squirrel Arts. <laughs> Fiery Hit him Squirrel up Arts. if you want some artwork. Uh, yeah, He's okay, great, man. thanks. Yeah, I'm not doing anything at all. No. Thanks, thanks He's for not busy. putting more on my plate. Let's pause right here and give a shout out to our sponsor, mm. mm-hmm. Saul Stop. Woo! They're not technically sponsored in the podcast, but it is ironic. (laughs) Today, Cody and I have got a special gift from Saul Scott. Stall Stop. Yeah. What'd you get? Cody, what did you get? What'd you get? I got the uh, Five Horse. The big one. Table Saw. You got the biggest one they make. No, no, no. I think they make a 7.5. Oh, do they? Yeah. You got a really big one. So I got the one underneath it. A big honking saw. Yes. Yeah. And I got... The tiniest one. <laughs> <laughs> Which is still uh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. 1.75, 36 inch. Yep. Uh, with, uh, it's sitting over here. Yeah. And it's it took four of us to lift it from the carport. Yeah, and they greased yeah. it down too, so it was really easy. Yeah. Through the back, wet backyard, because today we had tornadoes. We did. Yeah. Yes. And the FedEx man <laughs> delivered it the- in the middle of tornado sirens going off. Seriously? Yeah. No lie. Yeah. The sirens are going off, and he pulls up. Mail's got to go through, I guess. Yep. Well, I mean, yeah, check your, check your stories. Like, the siren's going off, yeah. and I'm like, back it up. <laughs> You're not going home now. Let's go. Yeah, our stories will be gone on Instagram by the yeah. time that people hear this, but if you happen to see it, that was literally what was going on. The, the wow. sirens are going off, and they delivered it. So I was very happy. When you called and said, he's at my place, and he's turning around, he can't deliver it anymore. I was just messing I was me. almost about to cry. <laughs> Because when I initially got the tracking info, I read yeah. Thursday, and that was last last Wednesday, mm-hmm. and I thought it was going to be the next day. Yeah. And then I went and reread, and it was a week later, and I was going to cry. Oh, yeah. gosh. So they were coming into my place, and yeah. I said, hey, the signs are going off, and they can't they they can't go anywhere now. Do you want me to just like drop yours off here, too? And he goes, yeah, I mean, if they got to leave, yeah. do it. I don't want them to go away. <laughs> That's for sure. Ugh. <clears throat> oh. Wow. Yeah. Um, also, I guess while we're at it, we have some new patrons on our Patreon page mm-hmm. for the Build Guild. Woo! So I want to shout them That's out. Awesome. We Jeez. have Ray Fleck. Fleek? F L E C K. Hopefully I said one of those right. Mm-hmm. Sorry, one Ray, if I other. butchered that. Thanks, Ray. And then Stonefly Nets. He actually came up to my shop. He lives in Little Rock. He makes amazing nets for like trout fishing. Oh, mm-hmm. They're beautiful. He did a color pencil one after he came up and. Yeah. saw all my stuff and he made a colored pencil They're really inlay. Neat. Sweet. Really cool. But he has a tiny shape poco and he needed a template that he couldn't cut out on the small one so he came up and we did it on my big one. So thanks for coming up. Thanks for uh, sponsoring us. Yes, thank you. Joining our Patreon over appreciate there. Appreciate it. And uh, we appreciate we appreciate the love. Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. it's crazy. It mm-hmm. blows us away. Pete, thanks for coming, man. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, this was awesome. Oh, we're not done. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> we have a lot more. Stop, <laughs> Cody. We're not we're done with talk him. About where, what is everyone doing building right now? Let's talk about That's what... That's a great idea. What <clears throat> what you're doing. So let's start out with Brian. Oh. Let's start with Brian. Uh, well, I'm doing this thing I'm doing right now. I'm drawing Pete. Um, I have a logo design underway for Jerry Francis, a local guy who is also a maker here in town. He has an X-Carve. By the way, Does that's he? how I met him. Yeah, he has an X carve. He, he stopped by over here. I plan on doing a, a series four to the X carve okay. series I've done, and he's gonna bring his over, and we're gonna run them side by side. Nice series three. I compared them and cut stuff, and uh-huh. I didn't really know what I was doing at that time. Of course not. <laughs> and I stated that in the description, but very clearly uh, stated. I ran them at the same time, but it wasn't the same file, wasn't the same bit, so it okay. was kind of okay. misleading a little okay. bit. I stated that series four or episode episode i don't know part four part four i will run the exact same file right. at the exact same time with the same bit so it'll be copacetic and you'll see what's up so nice. sorry about that but he's kind enough to bring that over at some point awesome we've been talks of that and i just haven't had the time anyways well, then i'm glad i said yes, yes to that for sure because he needs a logo he does he was an air traffic controller in the army really that's what he told me yeah i think I it was the that. army yeah he was an air- atc in the army and so that's going to figure into his logo oh, that's and his cool. persona, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I have, let me think here. I've got another logo design that really should be done by now for a uh, an old buddy who's going to do a, a, a marketing company. 
um, I've got a commission drawing that needs to get colored and printed and sent off. I've got three other things that I'm totally blanking on. And I keep doing, you know, stuff like the stupid llama drawing that just gets in my way and I have to do it. I, I mean, I have to do it or I'll go insane. That's so, right. Yeah, and so the right. art, art, art. And the art uh, seal, yeah. Seal. That's <laughs> I, now I up it. for sale as a sticker that's on right. your red bubble art, art, art. page. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's my red bubble shop. It makes a great sticker. And I have ordered a t-shirt with a tri-blend uh, uh, fabrication to uh, test and see what that shirt's like. Yes. So I'll also have them on a t-shirt. I'm really excited Yeah, so if you that. want some of those stickers... And the Build Guild has the t Build Guild now. has T-shirts right. right now. Yeah, yeah. that's about that. So if you want any shirts, we have them and yeah. a sticker and a mug. Yeah, a sticker and a mug and get them there's like yeah. a hoodie. Oh, and, there's and I'm building that sign with you right now. Yeah, we're building it. He like a five foot long. Is it five? Five feet? by two. Five by two foot sign, sign for, a, for a therapy clinic. A therapy clinic in somewhere. North Carolina. In North Carolina. Yes. Yeah. So this is our first time shipping something. Mm, yeah. Like something big that may go wow. freight. Yeah. I'm a little nervous because I don't really know anything about that, and it would suck to be destroyed. Yeah. I don't know how that would play out. It's kind of like a big guessing Check game. Check our insurance options when we yeah. ship out. Yeah, so <clears throat> shipping freight. If you have, if you're listening and you've ever shipped freight, please send us a message yeah. and let me know. <laughs> yes, please. What not to do because I probably yeah. will do it. <laughs> I don't, oh. don't want it to screw up. And with the onset of summer, I my 3D printer is going a lot. Three lately, yes. yes, and I have 3D printed the components for a custom Star Wars bounty hunter blaster. Also, a bunch of loot boxes from various uh, Fallout, uh, Overwatch, and uh, oh, three. What was the other one? Video game. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, just <laughs> a bunch of little game? boxes because I like boxes. Okay. And uh, and then I can't wait. The Mandalorian's coming to the Disney streaming baloney, oh, whatever it is. You and need my, to have my buddy. For that. So, well, no, my buddy was like. <laughs> I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to watch The Mandalorian. You come over. I was like, I'm going to build a whole Mandalorian costume and march around proudly in it at a nerd conference. And we will post so that also on the Build Guild page. So well, I expect sure. to print a Mandalorian helmet to yeah, go with the blaster. For sure. Various other components. Yeah, I mean, and obviously. You obviously. Do have to do it. So I'm really <laughs> excited <laughs> about that. Yeah. So you got a lot of things I got a in the pipeline yeah. that'll take you six months longer at than least. you expect. It's not going to get finished this summer, let's no. be honest. Mm-mm. Pete, what are you doing to your house? Always doing something to the house. Yeah, uh, so my wife actually is working on the trim right now inside. So inside, we are nearly done. It was so, a two bed, one bath, and now it it's a. Well, we once we ripped out the floor and I took out like three hundred wheelbarrow loads of dirt because the dirt was touching the floor joists. <laughs> That's why the floor rotted out. Oh. And I would say, as a exterminator, yes. that is not good for no. termites. <laughs> no. No. So, um, we rearranged everything. Where for now, your giant TV. Yes, which we got from you. That's we right. buy used stuff from Ben all the time. Who doesn't? Well, Ben Upgrade gets new stuff all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's my, just uh, what I mean. Night. That's for sure. So, um, the addition that I built last summer i still have to refinish the hardwood floors so we did walnut uh utility grade i think or builder grade whatever mm-hmm. where it's all of the rejects and uh to just really? have character those are rejects <clears throat> yeah everything's rejects they're beautiful though yeah it's crazy yeah. you gotta fill in knots and like so yeah, that's epoxy. Instead of <laughs> yeah. yeah, instead of everyone you know, loves epoxy right now. Yeah, it's matter. like the that's thing. true. It's epoxy. It's true. An epoxy floor. So instead of like uh, buying five or seven percent more than what your house needs mm-hmm. for like a builder grade, you might want to buy ten uh-huh. to fifteen yeah. percent more because I have I still have a ton of leftovers which I just built a sign. Yes. For uh, my coworker that just got married. I posted so, that sign yeah. on my Instagram because yep. he you brought it over and we yep. lasered, he lasered on it. the oh, yeah. whatever yep. married coffee mug thing. Yep. And, and it was just, received well. She it cried. Great. It she oh, cried. She brought her to tears. Yeah. Cries of, of happiness. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yep. They're That's hanging the it over their bed. Sweet. Cool. Good. Yep. Cool. So, so yeah. Uh, other stuff this summer is I got to redo the septic. Because oh, it's a cesspool in All the backyard. Right. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, and then 
our property line goes beyond our fence, so I'm moving the fence. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's how all. big of a of a land do you have? It's all family land. We only bought one acre, but surrounding us, if you add across the street and everything, there's probably probably over 250 acres of family land. And, but you live on a yeah. He lives on a road where it's named after the family guy. Yeah. Wow. So it has to be all family living yeah. on that, right? Yep. So the, we're right off the original homestead. Yeah. So where my wife's grandfather just passed away last year at 102, oh, and wow. talking to him. He says he remembers going around in Arkansas on a covered wagon. No way. Wow. So wow. It's pretty crazy. That is crazy what yeah. you People, what he lived through. Like the things oh, yeah. that yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we may see later on. Covered wagon to yep. automated cars now or mm, whatever. Planes. Yep. No, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Automated cars. So that, yeah, that's what I got going on. Yeah. Sweet. Same. Me and moving. 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 Yeah. Yes, moving update us space. on the... It's a nightmare. It's <laughs> the show and uh, <clears throat> moving. Oh, the show is great. The building is just... It's a nightmare. The building is... I, I really can't go into unexpected all of things. it. Yeah, but it's just a lot of unexpected stuff. And it's just... Is it just, just brain time. space? Like that? You, like brain space? You don't have enough brain space to organize everything and get everything done? Or, uh, yeah. And or maybe, is it just time? Maybe liability? <laughs> I think it's physical. <laughs> This yeah. one is a little bit of physical yeah, uh, it's a, stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. It kind of caught everybody off guard. Like, yeah. It's even, delaying you for it, sure. It's delaying me, yeah. Which is a bummer. Yeah. yeah. I can't even... Yeah. It's not good. Do you need some help? He's got no, a no, saw no. and he can't turn it on. Yeah. Oh, I thought that. you meant yeah. actually moving stuff. Well, no, it's not the physical mm. moving. No, they came in today and they were going to turn on the electricity. And then when they showed up, they were like, oh, well, wire is out of code. you got to get the... Like pretty much things gotta Ouch. be rewired, but that's not on me because I rent. So oh, well, good. Uh, but at the same the time, I'm still moving Could everything be anyone's into the space. To when yeah. that gets fixed, and I can't get electricity on. And there's some other stuff that's gotta be done. Yeah, and it's just. It was well, it's turning a week into it. What could be two to three weeks? Oh and it's man. Kinda, yeah, and it's that's no good for a shop. Well, for yeah. a non-hand tool shop. Yeah, <laughs> when you're yeah, using yeah. power equipment. <laughs> I mean, I can still do stuff out of my garage, which I'm going to. But at the same time, this is supposed to help me. Like I was supposed to be able to do a lot more orders, right? As of right now, but yeah. I can't. Um, and so yeah, and when I'm already not making money, I mean, mm. yeah, <laughs> you end up spending it. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. It, terrible. You get a brand new saw stop. You can't even turn it on. Yeah, I can look at it. You can look yeah. at it. Sure looks and pretty. It is pretty. It's a really <laughs> expensive table. No, it's, it's eye candy. You don't yeah, touch it. Don't true. touch it. Don't touch it. Right. I, I, I got extra brakes. I, I haven't you, decided if Sorry. I want to turn it on and actually try to test it with my finger yet. I, no, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> no. I don't plan do on that. doing that with ben, my finger. Oh not with my God. finger. No. I still want to do it with my finger. But I would like, I, I want to buy a cartridge. I don't really know the, like how, how many times it's going to go off and your saw's fine forever. Fine. Just, what, but I've just thought don't about, stick your finger in the saw. I don't care what it is. No, I'm sticking Fisher's finger in the saw. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Never would do that. Just kidding. <laughs> no, a hot dog. Clearly. It's just for the sake of, uh, does it really work? I don't want to be that point zero zero one percent failure where Good. Like, I bought yeah. spend this okay. thing and it That's what takes you should be drinking off. of, thank you. I don't know. I am making that sign. Yep. Uh I'm making some videos for a company and that's kind of in limbo right now. I've made one. Nothing has happened with it. That's not on me. I'm waiting to see what happens on their end before I make more. Um what else am I got going on? Uh, 3D printing stuff like crazy. Mm -hmm. I just made Optimus Prime, and he turned out really cool. Nice. Yes, you did. Um, awesome. Yeah, I think that's... I have more things. Oh, I started a video series with Fisher. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's great. It's hilarious. This is my seven-year-old son is just talking about what he thinks this tool does. <laughs> so I blindfold him first. And then put the tool in his hand, and he kind of describes it. And then he <laughs> opens. My favorite part. Yeah. What was it? What did he say? It, it feels green. It feels green. It feels green. <laughs> so if you know what the feeling of green is, so does Fisher. <laughs> That's my favorite quote. <laughs> it feels green. It feels so, green. So yeah. So we did that, and then he takes the blindfold off. And the first one we didn't have blindfold, but now we do. He takes the blindfold off, and then just just 
tells me what the tool does and I got lucky on the first one he didn't know kind of really what it did so it was funny um, and the second one I, we shot and he's really excited to do them weekly but that's a lot of video editing for me and mm. it's tough video mm. editing I hate I can you don't do like it. Edit video? I What's hate matter with you? editing video, but well, I don't want to relinquish do that to somebody week else. And just pick yeah. the one you want. Well, yeah, I don't want to give it to somebody else and pay someone else to edit my videos. Yeah. I do, but I don't because I don't want because the editing is me. Yeah, that's what yeah. makes me me, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know. But I think it's funny. Someone at work said, hey, what if Fisher ends up having more videos and views than you do? <laughs> yes. You're just known as Fisher's dad. And I'm like, that's totally fine. Mm. Keep them ads rolling. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. They don't edit it at all. They don't edit it all. That's right. Yep. That's it, man. I got some new studio lights. So if you're watching this on yeah. YouTube... We have it on our YouTube page. It's classy. We yeah. look great. So, if I look really pale and gingery, yeah. that's why. <laughs> that's right. Some of us don't need that light, but... Yeah. So, um, yeah. That's what I've been doing. Nothing cool. else. Yeah. All right. Same I'm here. here all the time, but not getting much done. Well, you hmm. took the day off yesterday, didn't you? Or did you lie to me when you said you were going to do that? Uh, What was yesterday? I don't know. When... Yesterday was Wednesday, and you said Tuesday night you are going to take the day off. No, I didn't take the... Tuesday I didn't work, my job job. Wednesday I did. Oh, I was gonna take the day off for my saw stop, but I ended up working this morning. I was waiting for him to call okay. the, the bus, yeah. the truck driver. So you did like And then, so and then he came by the shop. Right, and then I came by your shop. Hung out for a while. <laughs> yeah. Should have known. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then Alan, another word worker, came by the shop. Yep. It's kind of just become a hangout. It's dark. Good. But <laughs> yes. So in our in in sometime soon. I plan on having an Arkansas make, Makers Meetup. Yes. Because there's a lot more people in Arkansas that do it than I yeah. realize. And a lot of people have contacted me over the over the year, I guess, saying, hey, do you know anybody else in Arkansas who does stuff? And so I plan on doing that. Hopefully soon I'll put it out on the social stuff. If it gets big enough that we can't do it in my shop because my shop is tiny. We'll move it to Cody's and we can play like floor hockey games in there because it's yes. ridiculous. Hey, we have the storage, which yes. I plan on using for floor hockey. For real. Mm. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like large. Yep. Mm. I'm going to check some people. Yeah. Come on out. Super okay. cool. It's super cool over there. Uh, it's but yeah, really cool. if we can do it at my place and then Ben's providing steak, so. Nice. Steak. Yes. <laughs> I'm providing steak. Prime yes. cut for everybody. Prime cut, Yes. Uh -huh. I mean, we'll put we'll put your logo. I'll let you put your banner up Ooh, in there. Yeah. You know, okay. If you bring, if you bring yeah. steaks, you can bring your banner. What's the next thing? <laughs> what's the next thing they're doing for your uh, TV show? So we leave me and my wife because she's now the social media uh -huh. coordinator, um, which is a big deal for me. <laughs> and so we're leaving the second week of May and going to Minneapolis for the week. Oh, right. To you know. Deluxe Headquarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We'll, we'll stay there and we'll go over with the teams, like what the website's going to look like and all the other cool stuff. So. Yeah. Sweet. A yeah. week long there. Yeah, and it's a week away from the shop, but when the shop doesn't have electricity, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> really, I guess that's true. <laughs> Whatever. We're not losing out on yeah. anything. Hmm. So. All right, cool. We'll look forward to that, seeing what you do there. Yeah. Pete? Yeah. Got anything else to say? This is the end right here. No, man. All right. I have nothing to say. <laughs> well, we enjoyed having you. Thanks yeah, for coming yeah, by. Thanks for coming. Hopefully, Pete. you come yes. again. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this is the Build Guild podcast. Thanks for listening. And I guess we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. 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 Adios.